In this video, we're going to look at the effect of pump speed and tubing size on dosing time and accuracy in the Watson Marlow 323DZ pump. We've previously posted a video on the operation of the 323DZ pump, and if you haven't watched that, you may want to watch that before you watch this one. So we've got the pump set up, calibrated, ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to check dose time. We have a 30 mil dose at 400 RPM and let's see how long that takes. Okay, that took five seconds and we had a target of 30. It gave us 31. I'm going to write that down. Five seconds, 31 mils. Let's see what happens when we change the pump to 400 RPM. So let's back out of the uh, dose menu and set the dose but change only one parameter and that's the RPM. I'm going to drop it from 400 down to 100. And the pump is already primed and everything else, so now at the much lower RPM with the same 3.2 millimeter ID tubing, we may or may not see an impact on the uh, fill volume because this is not a very accurate scale, but we'll definitely see an impact on filling time. Typically the trade-off is the lower the RPM, the more accurate your fill, the higher the RPM, the less accurate your fill could possibly be. It's not hard and fast, but it usually correlates that way. 18 seconds. So at 3.2 millimeter ID tubing, 100 RPM, 18 second fill, 30 grams, that was our target. 400 RPM, a 5 second fill, at 31 grams, slightly over our target. What we're going to do now is change the tubing. We'll have to run through a quick calibration. So what we'll do is we'll turn the video off and change the tubing. Okay, we're now ready to show the 323DZ pump with 6.4 millimeter ID tubing. <coughs> Continuing to look at the effect of tubing size and RPM on both dosing time and accuracy. So we've calibrated and set up a dose, the same 30 mil dose that we had with the 3.2 millimeter tubing. Now we have it with 6.4, so we have 30 mil dose. We have the pump calibrated and primed. It's ready to go. And uh, it's at 400 RPM, so it's going to fill really quickly. We may not even... Let's see if we can even get it on the timer here. We'll set the tubing in place and uh, see what we get for for our 30 mil dose. Oh, sorry, it was at 100 RPM. Oh, it's actually pretty accurate. 100 RPM with the 6.4 millimeter ID tubing gives us a five second fill and gives us exactly our target of 30. So let's write that down. Five seconds. Let's go back and reset that dose to 400 RPM, and it'll probably be about one second, and I'm sure it will be uh, interesting to watch. Let's go back and set the dose now at a much higher RPM. We'll change from 100 RPM, we'll go all the way up to 400, which is the maximum on this pump. And uh, we may get some splashing, but We'll see. Enter. It's already primed. Well, let's see what we get here. We still have the scale. Oh. Still have the scale at, uh, there we go, teared. 
and uh, let's see what if, how quickly this goes. It's 400 RPM. Yep. Oh, two seconds. So it's two seconds. Probably uh, how quickly I could press the button there. But it gave <laughs> a fill of. Uh, oh, there we go. Actually, it gave the same fill. It gave 30. Very good. 30 mils. Much faster. I expected it to be a little bit less accurate, but again, this scale doesn't have much resolution, so couldn't see the difference. But we have uh, a much faster fill, two seconds, but we still got our same 30 gram dose. So, quickly reviewing with 3.2 millimeter IV tubing at 100 RPM, it took 18 seconds. We got our target of 30 grams. At 400 RPM, with the 3.2 millimeter IV tubing, got a five second fill and went over a bit. We got 31 grams. With this larger 6.4 millimeter IV tubing, both 100 and 400 RPM gave us our target dose. If we had a, a very accurate scale, we would definitely see a difference. Uh, but with the 6.4 millimeter IV tubing, the 100 RPM filled in five seconds. The 400 in two seconds, it was probably closer to one second, but I couldn't press the button fast enough. And there's a quick summary of the effect on tubing size and pump speed on the time and accuracy in the 323DZ pump.